Hi everybody, Dr. Mount Galvis again at Montgomery College, and uh, in this video we'll cover words, affixes, syllables, and stress. So uh, to start, uh, a word, what's a definition? Well, it has one or more syllables, and it has its own meaning. That's a simplistic definition. It's a lot more complicated, but for now, this is enough. So here are some words, books, computer, examination, predetermined. I'm sure you can identify these as having their own meanings on their own. Affixes, on the other hand, have meanings, but they don't stand alone. So the S itself doesn't just stand alone as a word. Uh, the, the derivational suffix ER doesn't stand alone there. Uh, in examination, the Asian, okay. Uh, and in predetermined, we have both pre and the ED there, all right. So we have some suffixes. Here's a uh, S is a, our inflectional suffix. Uh, Asian uh, is our derivational suffix. We also have this uh, prefix. Pre happens to be a prefix. It's at the beginning. So we have those prefixes and suffixes. By the way, this is not a grammatical marker, uh, and so we consider it a derivational uh, uh, affix. Okay. Now, uh, let's consider the number of syllables in each word. And a simplistic way to count the number of, of syllables is to count the number of pulses we produce when we say them. So let's try it. Books, one pulse out of that, one syllable. Uh, let's try computer. And let's put some dots between them. Computer. All right, so we have three uh, pulses in this one. Now we have examination. Examination. Five pulses, five syllables. Finally, predetermined. All right, and it looks like not mend two syllables, but just one syllable in that last portion. So four syllables on that. Okay. Fine, easy enough to do. Uh, what about uh, stress? Well, when words have more than one syllable, uh, we can identify both stressed and unstressed syllables, as in the last three words. In books here, uh, there's nothing else to identify. It just has its own a single syllable. But in computer, we can see there that middle syllable is stressed. That means the other two syllables are unstressed. Okay, all right. Uh, let's try that with examination. A, oops, make it a little smaller. Examination. That's where I think the stresses are. So let's try that again. Examination. So that means we have two stress syllables and two, uh, three unstressed syllables. By the way, uh, which of these is stronger? Is it examination or examination? And I think this is generally where we put it, all right? So examination, that's our primary stress. So we have the uh, stressed and unstressed, and we have our uh, primary and secondary uh, stresses. Okay, let's try the last one, predetermined. Pre, pre, de, ter, men. All right, so we can see there, predetermined. I think that's our primary stress, that's our secondary stress, and the other two are unstressed. So we have looked over words, affixes, syllables, and stress, and uh, some basic things. I've covered it quickly. If you need to, watch it again.